What's new in Havoc OS version 4.2 based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1? Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you what is new in Havoc OS version 4.2 based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Now, in case you want to know how to install this ROM, have a look at the features of previous build. We do have a separate video for that, which can be found in the description of this video. For this build, the first change you will notice is that the security patch is from February 2021. The kernel they are using is Silver Core version 8.3. SE Linux is set as enforcing and do note this is the official build of Havoc OS which I am running on my Poco F1. Next change you will find is if you go into settings configuration center here let us first go into quick settings. So you have a new toggle to tint the tiles which is going to apply the accent color tint to the quick setting tiles. So right now this is how my quick setting tiles look like. Let us enable this and then we can access the quick settings one more time and there it is you can see there is a small change and the tint color has been applied to the quick setting tiles next up we can go back still in the main configuration center and now if you go into notifications you will see you have a toggle for notification headers so right now this is enabled and as you can see i do have the notification header which says notifications let us disable this toggle and see if it changes anything and as you can see the header of notifications has disappeared we can enable it one more time and bam it is now back next thing they have done is they have added some new quick setting tiles so the first new tile which they have added is the switch data card tile and then they have also added panels for wi-fi nfc bluetooth and mobile data what are these panels so let us say i press and hold on the bluetooth bam here is the panel which we are talking about similarly press and hold on the wi-fi quick setting tile and bam here is the panel which we were talking about then they have also added an indication for extreme battery saver mode so keep an eye out on the battery icon right now it is normal let me go into the quick setting tile enable battery saver and now you will see it has changed so now this guy has a red background which means or which signifies that extreme battery saver was enabled then they have also removed this nav bar from the lock screen so it is visible on my home screen however once i go to the lock screen and there it is you can see the panel or the nav bar is no longer visible on the lock screen let me unlock my device the last new feature you will find in this build is a pretty high demand feature and it is known as app lock so here it is drm info either i can unlock it with my fingerprint or i can use the pin let me use my fingerprint not recognized let me try it one more time and there it is it finally worked i was not placing my fingerprint correctly nothing wrong with the fingerprint scanner on this build and DRM info application you can see security level is L1 but before that where do you find app lock you need to go into settings security make sure you have some security feature enabled like say pin or fingerprint go into app lock you of course will have to re-enter your pin and once you have entered your pin you can see right now DRM info application is locked let us lock the calculator application as well and you also have a toggle to enable authenticate only once which means the app is going to stay unlocked for 15 seconds after exiting anyways let us open the calculator app there it is you can see let me try the fingerprint bam this time around it worked without any issues so yes app lock has been added to android 11 and it works like a boss next change they have done is they have also added shady launcher which is based on quick step launcher now right now i am running the vanilla build with nix stock g apps because i personally prefer pixel launcher and as you can see on this one select and screenshot are working without any issues however 
let us go into settings apps and notification try to change the default home launcher from pixel launcher to shady launcher and this is how shady launcher looks like it is pretty similar to pixel launcher let us try to access the recents and as you can see you do have the select feature works absolutely fine screenshot is also there this also works press and hold go into settings these are your different settings for shady launcher so you have customization for your home you can of course access your google feed as well and another feature which i think i saw was hidden apps so yes you do have hidden apps you can hide applications so let us try to hide the drive and let us open the application drawer there it is you can see drive is no longer available now what i don't know is how do you access those hidden apps me personally i think you have to go back and disable it but if you do find a way like say oneplus launcher has this gesture or any other gesture which you find for shady launcher do mention it in the comments below and yes you can access your google feed it's not working right now maybe the device does require a restart after changing the default launcher so let us go back and switch back to the pixel launcher so here it is default apps home application pixel launcher next thing let us check if hey google is working or not so as you can see hey google is working with the screen turned on let us turn the screen off hey google are you awake as you can see hey google works with the screen turned off as well next thing we can check for is safety net so as you can see i do have magisk manager installed and my device is not rooted let us try again safety net is passing without any issues let us open the google play store as well go into settings device is certified which means banking apps should work without any issues in terms of youtube media playback everything works without any issues no jitters no lags picture in picture works of course for picture in picture to work either you need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to purchase youtube premium next up let us open the google photos application and let me try to edit this picture and wait for this bar to load once that is done you will have the new option of portrait and if you go into adjust you will have the feature of portrait light as well and as you can see on your screen it works without any issues press and hold on the home screen empty space styles and wallpapers you do have the new curated culture wallpapers installed as well but make sure you do update all the applications from the google play store next thing we can check for is prime videos so here it is prime video let me try to play this movie and see if we have hd playback or not so continue watching and as you can see there is no hd text besides the timeline which means prime video is broken and of course once you start getting madder by the minute you don't have time to fix all these things next up let us check the app opening animations as you can see no jitters no lags everything is pretty smooth recents bam here it is this is how your recents are again smooth no jitters and no lags let us try accessing the google feed as well and no jitters and no lags in the google feed either and there it is peeps that is what was new in havoc os version 4.2 based on android 11 running on the xiaomi poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you